Hi everyone, welcome to JK Japan Vlogs. Today I'm going to share with you my experiences in getting a Japanese driver's license here in Japan, guys. So in preparation for the future, I've decided to get a Japanese driver's license because there's a chance that we will move to the province, to my husband's hometown. So it's quite far from the city. So I think driving would be necessary there. I don't have a driver's license from the Philippines, so I have to start from the very beginning, from scratch. So there are several ways to get a Japanese driver's license here in Japan, guys. First, if you already have a license from your country or foreign license you can just convert it into a japanese license following all the necessary requirements and procedures but if you don't have a license at all or if it's not possible to convert your foreign license to japanese license then there are two possible options to do first is to attend a driving school in japan it's quite expensive and hard but this is very good for beginners like me the other option is to take the necessary procedures and exams directly at the driver's license center without attending a designated driving school. In my case guys, I chose to attend a driving school because I think I need intensive lessons because Japan is very strict when it comes to driving. You know what guys, I was very very nervous at first because um, I know myself, I, I easily get nervous and my Japanese ability is not that so good so the school that i went to is a japanese driving school so i had to do my best to understand the lesson so i bought an english book it's quite expensive but i had no choice but to buy it for me to understand everything that's happening in school when i get there i immediately look for a fellow filipina to talk to but i realized that i was the only I was actually the only Filipina in school. My classmates are mostly Japanese, Chinese, and the rest of them are from Nepal. But they are kind and friendly, so I'm very thankful to God for that. You know what? Getting a driver's license is not as easy as I thought, guys. I had to go through those sleepless nights studying for exams. The instructions were all in Japanese, but I have to understand everything. Fortunately, they allowed me to take the test in English, so I was so happy that I was so lucky at that time. So by the way, let's go back to the process guys. At first, there was an eye test, then they also took an ID photo of us. Then we had to fill in some forms. It was all in Japanese guys, so I was a bit in trouble. I asked the teacher if I could use Google Translate because I can't read Japanese guys. So he allowed me to do it but reminded me that phones are not allowed in the classroom. And then they handed us our schedule. There are two phases to take guys. In the first phase, we had to attend lessons in the classroom and at the same time actual driving lessons at the training ground of the school. It's a schedule for one week guys. So before we could take the test for the learner's permit after a week, we had to pass a mock-up test in the computer room. That's 50 items, total of 100 points, 2 points each and the passing score is 90. You know what? It's quite high for me but I have to pass the test because it's a requirement. Then finally after a week guys, after passing the mock-up test and after attending all the necessary lessons, we were able to take the exam for the learner's permit. It was hard guys but thanks God I passed the test. I still can't believe I did it but I think it's not me, it's God who guided me during the test. To be honest guys, I stayed up late at night a lot to study for this exam because if I don't get a learner's permit guys, the process will be delayed. I will have to pay additional money for another week while waiting for the next exam date. So imagine that's quite difficult and expensive. Since the second phase is driving outside on the actual road, learner's permit is required for us to proceed to the next phase guys. So there are two exams for the learner's permit. The first one is the reading test and a practical driving test. Both must be passed to get the said permit. So it was quite difficult but you have to do your best. Just do your best and everything will be fine. And then after acquiring our learner's permit guys, they immediately handed us the schedule for the second phase. There are still lessons in the classroom but this time, the driving practice will be done outside, on the actual road bearing the learner's permit and the novice driver sign. So there's also a mock-up test to pass before we can apply for the final driving test guys. So after attending all the academic and driving classes at the same time after passing the mock-up test, we can now apply for the final driving skill test. So this is the most important important part of the process. This is the actual skill test on the actual road and this is what we really need to pass in order to graduate and to be given a certificate. 
thankfully i was able to pass the driving test guys or the actual driving test and the actual rule so th that's why i graduated so it took two weeks for me to finish my driving course guys by the way it's like a driving camp so that's why it's very short but actually if you're not able to get your learner's permit after a week there might be a chance that you would extend for about one week or a month so it depends on the situation but it's not done yet guys there's still one more thing to do so after going back to tokyo i had to search for a driving license center nearby so with the graduation certificate given by the school and the learner's permit i applied for the final and the last test this was the last step to obtain a driver's license here in japan so the final test was 95 items total of 100 points the first 90 items were true or false and the next five items were danger prediction items which is 10 points so 100 points in total for me this is the hardest part of the process because to be honest with you guys in my first few attempts i didn't reach 90 points which is the passing score i was a bit sad at first because the driving license center is quite far from our house so i have to travel 45 minutes by train to get there but my husband told me it's okay it's okay to fail it's just a part of the process so never give up just do your best and then i finally got my license i am very thankful to the people who believed in me so it took three weeks for me to finish the entire process from the very beginning from the driving school to the license center so if you're planning to get a japanese driver's license in japan you can do it too just believe in yourself <laughs> 